half years after earning gold. Salt Lake City figure skater Nathan Chen finally taking home that medal. Olympic specialist Alex Cabrero now with the story. Yeah, figure skating isn't a summer sport, so a lot of people are asking, well, why did the U.S. figure skating team get a gold medal here in Paris today? Well, it has to do with the 2022 games in Beijing and a doping scandal involving a Russian figure skater. Nathan Chen from Salt Lake City was on that U.S. team that came in second place in the team skating event in Beijing. However, as we said, because one of the Russian figure skaters was accused of doping, it went through court cases and appeals and... Well, eventually, the U.S. was awarded the gold. It has been two and a half years since the events, but the athletes, the skaters today here in Paris, they got their gold medals. I mean, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to the team. Uh, we also didn't have our family in Beijing, so to be able to have our family here as well is huge. We put in a lot of work. Uh, we're a very dedicated team, you know, held ourselves very well over the past couple of years, and I'm really proud of, the, uh, really proud of all the people on this team. So, um, yeah, we're really excited to, to finally have our moment. I asked Chen what he feels about doping in sports and how important it is to keep an even playing field. I mean, the basis of sport is to have, you know, clean play and, and a fair, fair playing field. Um, and so I think that being able to have the trust that every athlete that we're competing against is clean uh, is really important and integral to the sport. So, you know, these, these, as, as we progress forward, you know, all these, all these, uh, all the information will continue to be uh, helpful to the athletes. But, um, yeah, as, as, as it stands, it's really important to be able to have clean sport. Yeah, Chen was also part of the 2034 committee to get the Olympics back to Utah. He says he is extremely happy the games were awarded to Salt Lake City, his hometown, and where he has pictures as a little kid of him attending some of the events in 2002. I know how much it impacts the, the future of, this, of all sports. Um, and the Olympics really just generates this, like, level of uh, intensity and passion uh, for for athletics, um, and, and I was definitely a result of that, so I'm really excited to be able to see how that translates to the future of solid sports. I also asked him about the 2026 Winter Olympics in Italy and his plans for that. He says he hasn't made a decision yet. He just graduated from college, and he's trying to keep his options open. He will, though, make a decision soon. In Paris, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.